My Hebrew brothers and sisters, the 12 tribe of Israel scattered all over the earth. Welcome back. This is your Moray, Dr. Yeshua. And we just want to take this moment to say again, thank you for your subscriptions and your likes and comments and your prayers. And thank you for everything you're doing to help to advance this ministry. And um, last session we were in verse um, 11. Of, uh, and we're talking about uh, the, you know, praising Yahuwah for deliverance. Uh, you know, we talk about the fear, the fear of Yahuwah, you know, fearing Him, you know. And uh, now in verse 12, and remember we also say that Psalm 34 is an acrostic poem where every letter i mean every verse has one of the hebrew alphabet or alphabet okay um and so in verse 12 we have the letter mem 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 okay and um robert my sisters uh he said what man is he that deserves life what man is he that deserveth life and loveth many days that he may see good is a question he's asking there what man is he that deserve life and loveth many days that he may see good uh, we're going to have the answer in, in verse 30. But listen what he said here. Um, man. And he said, what man? This, this, this word man here is ish. Ish. So remember, sometimes the word man is Adam. Right? Sometimes it is Geber. Uh, and uh, here it is ish, ish, okay, and um, ish is is a man, and uh, to, you know isha would be the female, the woman, right? So ish here is a man, and um, you could very well say what woman deserves, but when you say what man here. Um, ish um, is, is, is the word Aleph, Yod, and Shin, Ish. And uh, my brother says, what he said is, a, you, you, this man can be a great man, he could be a mighty man, he could be he, as a, is a high degree, um, him that is, a husband uh, is mankind, and um, it is contracted for the word enosh, um, or perhaps rather from an unused root meaning to be extinct. Um, see, a man as an individual or male person, uh, you know, often used as an adjunct to a more definite term and, uh, and and in such case frequently not expressed in the translation also uh, another uh, any man a uh, certain man a champion a, you know fellow husband man a good a great a mighty man you know Man of high degree, uh, and um, you know, people, person, steward, you know, whosoever, whatsoever, a worthy man, you know. So, so the word is used in such such, uh, um, you know, great variety of application. I, I want to notice here that he said, "What man is he that desireth?" life um 
he, the, the word desire here, desire life, uh, is the word carfates, carfates, and, and um, it's, it's like delighting in or having pleasure in. That's that's what the word is. You desire it. So something when you desire, desire it, or desiring, okay? Uh, the, the, the word desire here is the, is in the present um, tense, uh, you know, desires, desire, you know, the, the, the continuous, present continuous, you know, participle. And what it's saying here is someone that's delight, delight in our having pleasure in, um, you know, carpet is, 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 um, Fet and uh, Fe are Fe and also um, Carpet are, are top, I mean, I mean, are Tet rather, Tet Carpet and um. What what they saying here, my brother, my sister, is delighting in or having pleasure in, and, and to delight in our desire, favor, our you know pleasure to have pleasure, our whosoever would willing, you know, wish, you know. Uh, Cafes, please, with our uh, delight in to desire, and we talk about favor, or uh, to please, or uh, have pleasure, you know. And 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 my, my, my brothers and my sisters, the word here basically is to, is saying that if you have a desire, you know, your desire, in, 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 at, in, what's your pleasure? What pleasure do you want to have? What man is he that desires life? You, life, my brothers and my sisters, life is kai. Life is kai. Is is the age you desire life? You desire age. You want to live a long time, right? <laughs> you, because the word said and. Loveth many days. You want to live a long time, you know. What what man? What man? Who? What woman? You know what person, right? Uh, 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 and here it is, my brother, my sisters. It is talking about, um, you know, having that pleasure to live, and is 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 also is is in the, the, the feminine known and masculine known. You know, uh, and it's basically also an adjective. You know, kai, and we want to alive, living. You know, uh, appetite in the wireless sense. You know, company congregation, a lifetime, lively. You know, hence. You know, um, we we talking about. You know, merry multitude, quick. You know, we want to, we want to 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 have many years. We want to have many years. He said he desired. He loves many days. Ahab, Ahab, I sometimes say Ahab, Ahab, and, and it's to love, Ahab, Ahab, to love, he said love it here, Ahab. and sometimes the word is Ahab, instead, instead of saying Ahab, Ahab, you know, is, is the word there, love, just like in, a, in the Greek, you know, Yagape, you know, 
th this word here is used is 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 one of the Hebrew word I use greatly for love. Okay, and here he said it, it, it's Aleph. The, the the word is made up of three Hebrew consonants: Aleph, you know, um, He, and Bay, and um, it, it means to love, to love, beloved, like. Friend, you know, the probably primitive root to have affection or, you know, uh, otherwise, um, beloved or to like is a friend. He loves many days. He desired life and loved many days. Yom, days here is, is the word. Um, yom and, 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 um, uh, it is Yod, Vav, and Mem, Yom. And, and my brothers and sisters, what he's talking about here is, is the word days are, you know, age, always, continually, daily, each day to day, you know. Um, someday it can be a hot day, someday it can be a cold day, someday it can be a warm day, someday, can, you know, literally sunrise to sunset or, you know, from one sunset to the next, figuratively, um, a, a space of time, okay, uh, by um, implication uh, associated with the term, uh, you know, continually, evening, forever, everlasting, you know, you want to live long, <laughs> it praises me. And, you know, well, well, in this in this physical life, you know, we can live a long time, right? But we're not going to live forever in this in, in this in this um life in this flesh. God, this flesh de decay over a period of time, you know. But we, we, in in our relationship with Yahuwah, we're going to live forever. Praise His holy name. God, He's going to give us a new body, you know. He's going to give us a new body when He. It, he's going to change his own body here into a body that never decay. Praise his holy name, you know. And, and so, uh, it, it no matter, you know, what people say about this body, because this body is going to go change. He say in that twinkling of an eye, you know. You talk about when the trump of Yahuwah, he said, we're going to be changed. And, 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 you know, in process of time, my brother, my sisters, you know, as other times, you know, trouble, weather, when, within a while, whole age, full year, that I be older, younger, we need to keep trusting Yahweh. Praise His holy name. Praise His holy name. He said, what, what? What man is he that deserveth life and loveth many days that he may see good? That he may see good. I, I'm, so, so look at, at the word good there again. The question is asking there, right? And, um, and, and the, the word good is beautiful. Tob, tob. Is beautiful. Tav, I mean, sorry, the tet, um, tet, vav, and bet. Tob. And, and it's really talking about beautiful, it's talking about pleasant, it's talking about agreeable. Okay? Talking about agreeable and, um, and something good. Something beautiful, something better, something bountiful. We talk about it a few moments in another verse. Um, you know, something fair, fair word, in favor, be in favor. You know, in the widest sense of the word. Right? He said, uh, use the word there, um, singular or plural, good, something good, something. It's like a good thing, it's a good man, it's a good woman, you know. Uh, goods are good things, good men, good women, you know, 
something beautiful, something well, something better, something cheerful, you know, and in favor, something fine, glad, praise his holy name, you know, uh, my brother and my sister, something gracious, something joyful, something kind, kindness, my brother and my sisters, loving, merry, most pleasant, something that pleases Yahuwah, good pleasure, something precious, is prosperity, my brothers and my sisters, something ready, <laughs> hallelujah, something sweet, it's wealth, it's welfare. It's something that is well favored. Praise his holy name. And, 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 then, and then, listen, remember I said that verse 12 got the, um, was a question, right? The answer here is in verse 13. Verse 13, um, it, it has the Hebrew um, letter in, in the alphabet, uh, Aleph Bet. The word noon, right? So, so he asked the question, "What man that deserveth you know, life, right? And many days?" He asked the question there, and, and then here he answers it: "Keep thy tongue from evil." That is a man, right? It's to, it's to keep thy tongue from evil. And thy lips from speaking guile. Keep thy tongue from evil. And thy lips from speaking guile. Alright. So so the word here to not saw. Not saw. It, it is um not saw. It, it, it is it, it is um Nun, the word Natsar is Nun, Ayin, I'm, I'm inside, not, not Ayin, but Nun, Sade, and Resh. Yeah. Nun, Sade, and Resh. And, and so what the word is, what the word is saying here, my brother, Natsar, is, is like, okay, to keep thy tongue. Right? From evil. Is to watch or to guard. To watch. To guard. To keep. You know, in, in, in the Proverbs they say, keep your heart. For all of it flows the issues of life. You, you see, my brothers and sisters, uh, the word keep here, it, it has a word like to besiege at something hidden, something it's like a keep monument, a keeper monument rather, and, and, and it's something to observe, uh, something to preserve. So you observe as a preserver. You're keeping something. It's like you say, keep the commandment. You're guarding it, my brothers, my sisters. Even by keeping the commandment, you are a keeper monument. You know? It's like Yahuwah put it within your trust. We have it in our trust, my brothers and sisters. And we're going to make sure that what we do, you know, we're a keeper. It's like, it's like like you're a banker. And you keep, you keep, you, you, as a banker, the people that bring the money into your bank, you're responsible. And so Yahuwah made us responsible, my brothers and sisters, by putting in our charge. We're keeper. We're guarding it. In a good sense, to protect it or to maintain or to obey in a bad sense, you know, to conceal it, the, you know. But besiege, uh, be, it's something, a hidden thing 
we keep her monument, observe and we preserve it. Praise his holy name. We are watcher, we are the watchman. He said, we have to keep our tongue from evil. The word evil here is raw. Adversity. You know, adversity, raw, is, it, it, it is rash and alien, raw. There's two letters that make up that word, rash and a, raw, and it means adversity, bad, something bad, something evil, you know, affliction, calamity, displeasure, distress. So you keep your tongue from that. Something bad, something evil, my brother, my sister. Natural or moral, adversity, affliction, calamity, displeasure, distress, evil. You know, we have to keep our tongue from that. Mischief, something mischievous, misery, naughty, noisome. You know, something not pleasing, something sad, something sore, some, something sour, trouble, vex, something wicked. Keep our tongue from all of that stuff. Something worse, wretchedness, my brothers and sisters. Something that is wrong, we have to keep. I don't see any reason why, as his people, we have to be running into something like that. Raw ah. Wrong. He said we have to keep our lips from speaking guile. Safa, there's a, there's a word there, you know, and and uh, and, and is is um, it, it safa is 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 sin. Remember the word, the letter shin. Sometimes the letter can be sin. Depends on where the accent is and over right. So in this case, it's a sin. Okay, a, a sin and and pay and hey and the word here is talking about lip or speech or the edge and and you know the band or bank or binding something border brim brink or the edge language keep your lips you know say faith. Uh, uh, probably from Kafa or Shafa, uh, and, and from from the idea of you know termination, the lip as a natural bound you know boundary by implication language or by analogy a, a margin or a vessel of water, you know. Something binding, something border, at the brink of, at the edge of, you know, something prating, side, or you, you talk as something vain, you know, vain. Uh, it's like, keep thy lips from speaking guile. And, 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 and the word uh, speaking, they bear here, it's a speak, you know. A lot of times, you know, we get into situations where we, we say a lot of stuff that is not conducive, my brothers and sisters. Something that does, does not conducive. But we have to, he said, we have to keep our lips from speaking God. You know, to speak here, the word debar here it is debar or dabar. Um, it, um, it, it is dalet, bet, and resh. And my brothers and sisters, what the word is saying here. Is, is, is the word mean to speak, okay? To answer or to appoint or to be that to command or to commune, to declare or to destroy or to give, okay? And, and to arrange but use figuratively, you know, to speak rarely in a destructive sense. To subdue or to answer or to appoint or to be that to command, to declare, to destroy, to give name, promise, pronounce how to rehearse how to say something you know to speak be a spokesman or to subdue to talk to teach to tell 
to think and it, it used to, for entry in trade in in treaties you know in treaties rather in treaties uh or to utter or to tell or to work that's it says you must keep your lips from speaking guile guile here is mira mira is is treachery deceit you know deceit you know when yahoo change our lives and he make us his children and we have our lives changed we don't need to be covering up anything we don't need to be covering up anything is 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 it the word guile here is deceit a treachery and we, we my brother must says that's what that's what the um the when you among us the politicians that's all they involve in that's all they involve uh, you, you can't trust any of them right deceit and treachery deceit and treachery my brother and sisters mem resh mem and hey mir mir ma that's what the word is mir ma treachery resh I mean, I mean, mem, resh, mem, he. You know, mim, ra. Mir, ma. Mir, ma. Mir, ma. Treachery, deceit. You know, craftiness. Deceitful, false, feign, treachery. A sense of deceiving, of fraud. You know, you know. Deceitful, craftiness. Fals, fame, subtility, treachery, my brothers and sisters. We, we, we need to stay away from anything like that. You know, and the church is filled with people like that. They're just like the politicians. You can't tell the church different, you know, the holiness, not, not you know. A, a matter of fact, the politicians are part of the churches and supporting the churches. So they, they, that's why they, they, many of the churches. The, you know, and especially big churches where them politicians come from, they they don't want to talk to people. They they preach a card though because they don't want to hurt the politicians' feelings because they don't want them to leave and don't give them the money. So be kind, be guile and to betray people like that. Bowman carry to the deceive and they throw the, my brothers and sisters and specifically, you know, to shoot or to to delude or you know. The lewd are to betray. That's what they do. Betraying one another. Causing. There's a big guy betraying people. Deceiving one another, my brothers and sisters. He said, be not deceived, for Yahuwah is not mocked. Whatever a man sows, that what shall he reap, my brothers and sisters. Praise be to his holy name. We're going to stop here. We're going to stop here. He said, you know, and we're going to come back to, you know, but right now we're going to stop. And we're just going to ask you, my brother, my sisters, that today you would be a blessing to someone and walk with the king. Shalom. Praise his holy name.